split up and went their separate ways with Jane leaving Albert Square altogether. Well, if uh, if you're going to marry Ian Beale, you really ha only have yourself to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Need to lift home. You know, if I had someone like you, I wouldn't be running off to some creepy ex. I'd be too busy making you happy. But we can't. I loved you and nobody else would, and now I need that money for my new life, for Jane Clark's new happy life. What's this about? Jane Clark's brand new life. Hey, Zainab, do you want to know something? She's a cheat, just like your husband. Oh, no one ever saw in you! A mug! I found myself a little place you can have another bedroom, a mummy bedroom. And then six goes. months later, she oh. walked back in again. <laughs> yes. uh, the reason being, of course, and welcome, it's lovely to see you, um, you. That, that Ian is a bit distracted with, obviously, the wedding dress and the ring from Mandy, <laughs> and, uh, and Bobby, little Bobby, disappears and goes to find you. Yes. And you're embarking, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Jane's embarking, yes, and she's surprised to find him on her doorstep and just wonders why, how, how when, yeah. what's happened, and comes back to the square, and there's Ian on the square with... A lady in a long white frock. <laughs> and she sort of thinks that there's a bit of a midlife crisis going on here for Ian, doesn't she? Oh, for sure. I, I, Ian's been having a uh, midlife crisis since he got his leather jacket and his earpiece for his, <laughs> his, his, for his phone. So that's been going on for quite some time. So, yes, nothing changes and uh, he's still in the middle of it. And he's still in the middle of it. But also, more importantly, she wants to, for Bobby to have both parents around, doesn't she? So she's, yeah. she's coming back now to try and make this work for him, really, more than anything. That's right, yeah. She's, um, she's realised that, obviously, the, you know, the separation was probably the best thing at the time, but... For Bobby, the, the time is right. Obviously, if he's travelled across London to mm. see his mum, then something's got to, to happen, really. He's, well, they've, his been, happiness. they've been in contact off-screen, haven't they? So there yeah. has been discussion. Yeah, there's them. been mentions of, you know, uh, Bobby's been dropped off at Jane's and, 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 and that sort of thing quite a few times. So the, the, the contact's been retained, yeah. So she's walking into all of that, but in tonight's episode, she also she arrives when there's a huge commotion going on in the square <laughs> as Phil is smashing up Christian's car. Yes. No, so, yes, and Christian's flat, yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, um... Well, it's Phil Mitchell grand style, isn't it? And but it is her brother, and um, so, yeah. yeah, she's back to um, a bit, bit super change. Puts her super pants on and tries to help the We've day. Uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bit of a clip from, uh, oh. from tonight. Here you go. <laughs> of course it is. Well, congratulations, Ian. By the sounds of it, you deserve each other. You look good. Yeah, I am good. Well, I'm great, in fact. You know, funnily enough, as soon as I left you in this house, I managed to sort myself out just fine. I can't tell the same about you, though. You've aged about ten years since I last saw you. Uh, have you just come here to insult us? No. I've come to take my son. Nice hair. Wow. <laughs> it's quite big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> big hair. We should say, I think it said 7.30 there, but it's 8 o'clock. Uh, 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 on a Thursday. No, sir, 8 o'clock on a Thursday, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, the other reason we're very excited about her coming back is because this time, her and Masood are both single. They've sort of been <laughs> pinging backwards and forwards, sort of going, oh, you know, it's they, been bubbling under the surface. Yeah. They've had a bit of a kiss, but they're now single. Yes. So... Come on, if ever this is going to happen, this has got to be it, right? <laughs> well, yeah, the whole, the whole Masood Jane thing was all started off as a, like a butterflies thing, you know, where they just meet up and talk and... The 1970s uh, yes. sitcom with <laughs> Wendy Craig. Yes, absolutely. Wow. And that was the whole sort of little starter for that. But as things have gone on in different producers and, and have seen it, and obviously the spark's there, and, and, you know, I think every woman sitting at home is thinking, go on, Jane. So now they're single, and, and obviously there's things that um, have been spoken and said, and... Since they are now both single, uh, perhaps something might come well, of it. Well, she does deserve it, doesn't she? I mean, she wades in there and helps everybody out. Yeah. She is Super Jane, yeah. really. Yeah, she so is. So it's time, I think. I think a little bit, yeah. I mean, I think the last time she had a bit of excitement was the Grant thing. So, mm. um, And I think it's brilliant that, that, that Jane, who is the normal woman, she's not the glamour puss or anything, does get these moments of, you know, gets the guy sort of thing. Mm. So, um, yes, I think there's quite a lot that will unfurl in the next few few months, yes. Well, you uh, you had the uh, the time out because, of course, uh, because you have to have your baby. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, And Adam Woodyard spotted it before you told him. Yes, he did, yes. We were walking up to the set and he just looked at me and he said, you haven't had a cigarette in a while, have you? And I was like, no. And he said, are you pregnant? 
And I said, how do you know? He went, oh, I've seen it a million times before. I saw it with Michelle, I saw it with so-and-so. So, so, yeah, see, um, yeah, he absolutely did spot it, yeah. So you, and you had your baby not that long after me, did you? When were you? No, uh, May, May the 3rd, yeah. May the 3rd. Yeah. And how's it all going? It's going really well. She's amazing. I just can't believe it. And the time goes so fast, doesn't it? Yes, it just it really goes does. so fast. And, uh, um, an incredible time that, that we've had with her and my mum and dad, you know, they didn't think they were ever going to be grandparents, I don't think, but so they're, they're over the moon, you know, oh, loving it, loving it. And is it, is it tough going back to work or have you sort of managed to...? Yeah, I mean, it, it's such a, a, a hamster wheel to run on EastEnders, mm. you know, it's such a massive machine, the, the hours are so long, so, um, you know, I've, I've decided just to go back for, for a, a few months and, um, and, and give myself a bit of flexibility after that because I don't want to miss the whole first year and, no, and everything that happens uh, with, with, with a baby within that, I think if I've waited this long to have one, yeah. then I should enjoy it, you know. Definitely. So going back for a few months and, um, you know, they're, they're not going to bump her off, I don't think, so the door, the door will be left open well, she'll be back in, in the future. in three months, <laughs> won't she? Yes. Is that, well, that, so so well, how much can you tell us then in that case? If you, she's, there for, she's there for three months uh, and, the, and the door is left open. So, who, you know, the, the, who knows what may happen in the next... She's going to get with my suit, and they're going <laughs> to run away and elope and get married somewhere. This is in my and mind. And then do a spin-off series. Then, yes, yeah. they have their own life, and then they'll come back and they'll have kids. <laughs> Is that yes. what it is? is that's, that what that's, on? that's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this face. And so, so you're, you are the, you're the queen of accents as well, aren't you? You are very good at picking up. One of those people who, if you yeah. hear an accent, you pick it that up. That is such a great story. Yeah, I mean, I can. It's, um, it's, it's caused me a few problems with Australian friends and stuff. And, you know, you're out with, for a drink or Irish. I, I do just start to sort of lilt into it. But, I mean, because I'm, of course, Scottish, so... Um, uh, but I, I've spoken in a London accent. I've been in London a long time, but... So when people come up and say, oh, you're Jane Beale, aren't they? You've tricked them before by going, yeah. so... I've sometimes so... just said to them, oh, you know, I get that all the time. I just, I really look like her, but, you know, it's, 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 yeah, I get it all the time. Sorry, it's not me, but, yeah. <laughs> so, so is this, which is the family voice, then? Oh, if I speak to my mum, this is the, the voice, you know, the, got on the phone. And also, uh, my, my par partner is um, Scottish, so at home it's a wee bit confusing, you know, we, I speak it like this, and then I'll answer the phone and go, all right, yeah, oh, I've got to be at work at <laughs> so-and-so time. <laughs> Hang on a minute. That's um, amazing. Uh, Johnny, what, what, what's for dinner? You know, no so, so, yeah, yeah, I do all of that, yeah. It's quite confusing, it's schizophrenic. <laughs> I love it. Um, thank you so much for coming thank today. You. Thank Lovely you. to have you back. Uh, Very nice, nice to be to here. Nice to see you, thank yes, you. congratulations. Thank you.